there is a lot that's happening in biz verse and i'm here to bring it to your screens hi guys you're welcome back to the channel it is your one and only lady jackson bringing you this update of the week five of the big brother niger season eight all stars as a day hot you know it is a 2023 edition there's been so much drama chaos tears heartbreaks and very fun moments so yesterday we had to welcome a set of new housemates after kidwell was evicted from the show now of course those housemates are lucy prince omashala and Kim Opera. Now, these were strong people of their own virus seasons. I mean, most of them, one of them got to the to be the first runner up, got to the finals. Some did actually. Um, Kim Opera was the baby girl, the ladies man. Okay, the men's girl. <laughs> Please, I don't want to stress myself. For all this and more, please make sure you watch this video till the end. Now, if you're new to my channel or you're an old visitor and you've not subscribed, please do me this one graceful thing. Subscribe, click on the bell button for notification on every post I make. Don't forget to share comments down below and also give this video a thumbs up and share this video. Now, this might seem very little to you, but it means a lot to me. Thank you very much. So this is the week five. Housemates are to solve a puzzle. And the hint is the big brother's eye. The new housemates can participate in the HR games. Biggie also advised the ladies not to make up. HOH said to the housemates that they will go into the arena and play for this week's seat. New house guests are not allowed to participate. And the game started in 15 minutes after that announcement because as CD Hot, Big Brother doesn't want to be wasting our time anymore. Y'all know we've been complaining about that, right? So, of course, Big Brother finally heard our cries and our pleas, but he did it quite late because a lot of people are still quite pissed that this is coming now. So, the jury, the eviction jury has been scrapped from the um, eviction method and then old rules are back. There will be HH, um Games, Black Envelope, and then there will be nominations. There will, uh, the Black Envelope will handle the one person who gets to be pardoned for the season and i don't think they'll be part of me if there is we'll see how it goes but i don't think so now of course uh this is beautiful but people are still lamenting that she is so not supposed to be in the house or we eat it and talking about eviction and eviction rules y'all remember that yesterday kid Boy was a victor from the big brother niger all-star season and we noticed that when ibuka questioned him uh, one of the first things he was going to do he needed to settle he quickly said it was to see his girl that he needs to settle with her he hopes that everything is good at home according to him this was revealed by doing today when she was speaking to maybe cc or even ilebai and she was like um um, um Kidwire had even said that even though he was pardoned or he he like gets to not get evicted yesterday that he was going to quickly leave the competition now we were not showed this actually i don't know if you guys watched it please share comments down below was this why um the eviction went like the way it did because y'all know that some of us have been claiming that there's always been a sense of influence from big brother team in the eviction jury so maybe it might have been what it is saying that you know kid was ready to go then you know they had to evict him or else he would have voluntarily left the competition i don't know if that was going to affect the big brother brand in a bad way but it is what it is well, it seems things are not really good at home because Kid Wire's girlfriend, after hearing and seeing about the kiss between Kid Wire and Mercy Eke, she unfollowed him on Instagram. So, <laughs> oops, I didn't know what to say. Moving on from that, Kim Opera was having a conversation with Shay. And, you know, y'all know that some of us have been saying that, um, it seems like Ilibai, God has been working in her favor, right? But on the other, on the flip side, it seems like things have just been working against Shay. Kim Oprah 
hinted, and I think Omar, a prince did the same thing. They hinted to um, um, Shay that he should be careful the kind of things he say uh, when it comes to how he's talking about respect and insulting people that, you know, um, it's not cool. They've been hearing it all over the house. But we know this was something they've been seeing or watching and it's been tarnishing his image even while he is in the house it's tarnishing his image out of the house but of course stone cold strong headed i am better than everybody i have respect i know values she is still adamant on his claims and his rights so let's leave him because it seems like when the lord wants to punish the devil he lets him okay i'm not supposed to say that but of course she was be will be his own end that's just what i'm going to say thank you and on the same um, Kim Opera issue, she was having a conversation with Perry in Ile Bai's room, the blue room. And here was Perry tarnishing the image of Ile Bai in her presence, thinking she was asleep. Perry was telling Kim Opera how Ile Bai got her strikes, saying that uh, she pulled her own friend's hair, uh, she choked her own friend's neck, and then pulled her now second friend's hair like. That was what she did. That's why Big Brother gave her double strikes. And you know, uh, Kim Opera was now asking, is that how she normally uh, acts or when it comes to things? Because she, Kim Opera, doesn't really watch the Big Brother show. She has a lot she's doing and stuff. And then here was Perry saying, um, you know, in my in the way I see it, kind of that. What? Like, Ilepa was really pissed when she went to tell some of the bffs telling them that she's really pissed why would that be the first person first thing you tell anybody about when they want to when they need to even get to know me and stuff it was rather disappointing maybe this is his new game plan and now for other random things that happen in the house first is the beautiful thing that it seems like alex and cc and after seats oh my god <laughs> because like this is indeed the first bitter relationship and friendship that happened in big brother's house this season and this two have been avoiding each other even they've, they've been actually handling it in a very matured way do my name before i bite my tongue so i just speak english anyways we saw them having a conversation in the dressing room before the you know head of house challenge and they were talking about random random things but i didn't even want to listen i was just glad that they I've started talking, right? Moving on from that, we noticed earlier this morning that Tolani Barge is not done with the issue with Cece. In fact, she was telling Perry that, you know what, that any side hole that Cece makes this throughout this week, she'll be giving her back to back, shutting her down small, small in small portions. She'll put that girl in her place. She just has a loud mouth. She had to fat shame her. She had to disrespect her in very amazing ways. And she's not even remorseful for what she did do. That's just what she's going to say. At the moment, I'm just thinking that one way or the other is either Tony Badge wants Cece to get a strike or she wants the both of them to just go home or she just wants to do something. And I'm not seeing it working in her favor, honestly. Lastly, on this see the video <sighs> Messieke, the gossip woman the snake in the the house friends with everybody she was telling the bffs that she caught cc and neil flirting like she was passing them or she wanted to come and join that conversation and the sister was like oh it's a private conversation you're not supposed to be here and so i'm like oh la la <laughs> Well, 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 that's all I have for you on this particular video. So again, please don't forget to subscribe, click on the bell, and stuff in this case in every post I make. And I'll see you on the next one, people. Please make sure you share your comments down below so we can relate on how this is all going to go down.